Coming to the fourth question, check whether 5 comma minus 2, 6 comma 4 and 7 comma minus 2 are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Moving on to the solution, let the given points be a 5 comma minus 2, b 6 comma 4 and c 7 comma minus 2 which are the vertices of triangle ABC. Here in this problem we need to check whether the points ABC are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. We know that three non-collinear points will represent the vertices of an isosceles triangle if its two sides are of equal length. That is triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle if AB equals to BC or BC equals to CA or CA equals to AB. For checking whether the points represent the vertices of an isosceles triangle or not, we need to find the distances AB, BC and CA. We know that the distance between two points P x1 comma y1 and q x2 comma y2 is given by pq equals to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Let us take the points a 5 comma minus 2 and b 6 comma 4. Here we represent the point a as x1 comma y1 and the point b as x2 comma y2. By distance formula, the length AB equals to the root of 6 minus 5 whole square plus 4 minus of minus 2 whole square, which is equal to the root of 6 minus 5 is 1, so 1 square plus 4 minus of minus 2 is 4 plus 2, which is 6, so 6 square. So, AB equals to under root of 1 square is 1 plus 36 square. 6 square is 36. So, AB equals to under root of 1 plus 36 is 37. Hence, we got the length AB as root 37 units. Now, let us take the points B, 6 comma 4 and C, 7 comma minus 2. Here we represent the point B as x1 comma y1 and the point C as x2 comma y2. Substituting the values of x1 y1 and x2 y2 in the distance formula we get length BC equals to the root of 7 minus 6 whole square plus minus 2 minus 4 whole square which is equal to the root of 7 minus 6 is 1, so 1 square plus minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6, so here we write minus 6 square. That is equal to 1 square is 1 plus minus 6 square is 36, which is equal to root 37. Hence, we got the length BC as root 37 units. Here, it is clearly seen that the length of AB equals to the length of BC. That is, the sides AB and BC of triangle ABC are equal in length. Therefore, triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. So hence, we can say that the points AB and C are the vertices of an isosceles triangle.